Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome back to Hypermine. And today I have a special guest hanging out with me at my place. Welcome, Albanackers. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm a very special guest. Oh, I'm not hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing that with the button. Look, look, look. look okay, I see you now. Yeah. <laughs> I had my camera flipped around for a second, <laughs> so I got the back of your head. All right, so. Wow. Today, the plan is to fill up a tank with lava. Actually, we're going to fill up four tanks with lava. Check this out. Look at my tanks, man. Oh, oh by yeah. the way, tanks Tanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> so, uh, after, after I built the second tank, I ran out of iron, so I wasn't able to build tank number three and tank number four. So, I played around with working on my thom, thomonomonom tower here. We'll get onto the Thalmanom Tower in some other episode, but today I want to get a tank full of lava. Thumpy. You should call him Thumpy. Thumpy? Yeah. Thumpy <laughs> Tower. Tower of Thumps. <laughs> Thumpy Tower. All right. Let's take a little fly over here. All right. Let's go. What's my pack level at? It's decent. And uh, some slip Whoa. thought he would do me a nice little favor and set up this awesome little tower of water inside my tower wow because it, it was it was spawning slimes like crazy Woo so wow. this, this was to stop the slime spawning what the hell did he do <laughs> he I built didn't... he built a pyramid in the middle and put a put a single source block on top of it uh, because <laughs> i just shot through that like as if it was freaking ice crazy <laughs> do you know you've got creepers in this base? yes i do i need to put glass in my windows man okay i haven't oh. gone and done that yet the glass make? also takes a long time to make because i'm using the hardened glass which is pulverized obsidian and pulverized lead so i've been yeah. pul pulverizing pulverizing oh. there's, there's some oh. more ink sacks for you i've got some hardened glass if you need it because I was like, I spent like um, a whole afternoon making freaking hardened glass. I was like, what am I going to do next? <laughs> what are we going to do now? All right, so I think awesome. I'm going to need a platform to build on. So it looks like I'm going to have to go back up and get oh, some that, more blocks. That jetpack is so slow. Yeah, it is. You've got a gravity thing. Yep, I've like took three years to build it. Three years. Well, not literally three years, but it, it took me at least I'd say about a day in total. Oh wow! So I've got my parts, as you guys can see, I've got parts ready to go, but I needed to grab a few more blocks to build. So, whoa! I take one step away, and guess what? My tower is full, full of mobs. Holy jeez. <laughs> My God. Go have fun. They'll blow the freaking crap out of the floor. Not if you do it yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Hold on a minute. I'm going to get air. I can always rebuild the floor if I need to. All Just right. don't fall through it if they do blow a hole in it. Look at, look at, look at, look at them all. Whoa. It's freaking nuts. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, just, it's just like a freaking... Get them to follow you outside. There's a bridge out on one on the left. Uh -huh. um, on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can just kill them through the door. I forgot to put up torches. Sorry. I don't know. It's funny, <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> You're being followed. Come I've, on, got, guys. I've got my own little mob trap. Excellent. Hey. Wow, what happened there? Something exploded. Yeah. It was I think it was a skelly he shot a creeper and the creeper didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> um cool. We need to torch the the floor though. Yeah, I'll torch it. Um are they just continuously spawning? Yes. Oh crap. Even though I'm here. I don't know why that's they shouldn't be spawning after uh, after me being oh, here. I keep seeing things spawning down there. I mean not right now, but they had been a minute ago. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll sort that out in a second. So, let's see how to do this. 
Put one here, one here, and one here. Oh, jeez. Gonna go with three magma crucibles. I need to set up a barrel loop. My famous barrel loop. <laughs> Actually, I stole it from uh, you know who. Yep. What's his name? Ah, oh, he doesn't. Primary. Need to hit, hit. Primary he, something or other. He's the man that needs to remain nameless. He will remain <laughs> pri primarily remain nameless. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> primarily remain remain nameless. Okay, I need a pipe. I need to be piped. Okay, so next we go like this and run the pipe across the top of these magma crucibles. And what it's going to do in this method, I don't need the hoppers. I used to use the hoppers, but the hoppers can still overflow. So with this setup, with it going right across the top like that, it will try to put nether rack into the magma crucible, but if it doesn't, it actually spits it back out and continues along down the pipe, which is oh. pretty, pretty nifty. Now, if you use hoppers, it doesn't quite do the same thing. I think you probably could run them across the top of the hoppers. I haven't played around with those hoppers so much, so I don't know how they react. Yeah. Mm. It probably would work. But there, I'm going to stick a, what is this thing, a gold, oh. a gold one, so that speeds it up. Right, as far as I know, this is safe. Now you won't have anything other than slime spawning so you, in you've, here. you've safified my uh, tower again? More or less. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just need, I need to go and get some red blick, blick. I need to get some red blick and some gray blick now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you need that? F oh, damn. So I, That's so a I lot can, of torches. I can blick, blick the floor. <laughs> Oh, you're going to fix my floor. floor. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. I need I need my floor fixed. Okay. So, we got We got magma crucible set up. And next we need to take the lava from the crucibles and put it in the tank, but I'm going to run the pipe a different way. Uh Let's widen the door a little bit out. Punch a hole in the floor while we're at it. That's always a good thing. Punching a hole in the floor. Okay. There you go. There we it go. Has been, it has been returned to its previous greatness. <laughs> you fixed my floor, man. Yep. I still see some dark spots, though. I have no idea where, 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 where. I just, I just, yeah, I gotta come up here and see them. They're, they're quite not very visible, but I think I see them. <laughs> it's all that matters. Okay, so yeah. let's uh, bring lava out the back and uh -huh. down the middle, like this. Uh huh. All righty. So these are magma crucibles. Those are magma crucibles. Now I'm thinking, do I want to have like just a separate engine, a magmatic engine off to this side, like one or two of them? For pumping them and pumping it out? No, simply for powering the magma crucibles. Yeah. Hmm. Because um, I wanted I wanted to be able to pull it off the tank. Well, it depends on how big the quarry you've got. And it's just... It's not for the quarry, it's for all the other engines that require MJ. Mm. And they're going to be up in my lab up above. Well, I mean, if, if the magma crucibles are going to work faster for you with the magma and magmatic engines running on them, I would, I would definitely add them on. Oh, they definitely do. It's just, do I use my primary source of power to feed the ma magmatic crucibles or do I use an auxiliary source of power to feed uh, the magmatic I, I would try and use an auxiliary source alright let's go ahead and do that we'll set up just, a, just for fun 
Just it's just a complicated, just a little bit more. Just make it a little bit more complicated. I got you. Mm -hmm. I understand the logication of where you're. Just to dumb it up a bit more, man, so I can't build the damn thing. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so let's put an energy energy conduit down here. Did I bring and my wrench? Yes, I brought my wench. I brought my wench. So you got your wench? Be, yeah, I don't have no wench. <laughs> I've got my electrical wench, and I've got this wench too. Okay. So you click on it. That's going out. No, we want it. In, we want it to go in. So they're all fine as is. They're is isinated. Okay, okay. Okay. Next to build a pillar or a column, a tower of magmatic engines. One, two, three. Let's go three. Should be more than too much, more than excessive. Uh, three magmatic engines. Well, I think I can actually get four on here. Yeah, you can put. Yeah, you can actually. Yep. Like that. And well, then I need, it, I need a wrench. Put, you can put 12 on if you want to. Yeah, but that's more than. That's, <laughs> that would be a primary source of. That would be a black hole for your energy. <laughs> That'd be too much power. It would absorb everything. But for now, let's just. Oh! pull any excess lava coming off of this thing. So, are you saying that these magmatic engines can actually pull excess lava from the system? No. What it will actually do is the magmatic, or the magma crucibles will try to fill these pipes. Mm-hmm. Okay. And some of it will get diverted over to the magmatic engines. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so some of it will go over here to the engines, which will be used to provide power for the magma crucibles. Mm-hmm. Making more lava, and it just kind of goes around and around and around in a circle. Um, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. You know those... Um, those... Um, red power cube things. Mm -hmm. Can you just make a docking bay on that pipe there, just to charge them up? Or yeah, I'd have to pause the recording, go make one, and come right back. But yeah, I can do that. No, I'm just saying, if, if you could. Yeah, why don't we just go do that? All right, cool. So I will pause here, and I will come back with a redstone cube thingy that Albanac was just talking about. All right. Be back in a minute. Okay, we took a brief break, and the sun rose and set, and rose and set again, and we made two of these redstone energy cells. One for me, and one for Albanac here. Yeah. And we're going to run over here, and we're going to install the one that I made, and Al's going to keep his. Yep. Woo! And we're over here. You've got the... You forgot to mention it was a full moon, by the way. Did I? I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> it, lo it looked like a normal moon moon to me. So I'm going to take out one of these conduits with my handy-dandy Omni Wrench. Oh, and put... I've seen one of those. You haven't seen the Omni Wrench? Nope. Well, you used to be able to remove the conduits with the Black Wrench. Yeah. But you can no longer do that. Oh. So, so this is no good. Uh, I use yeah. it for flip-flopping the, uh, the connections. The connections. So it looks like the connections are set up correctly. I don't need to swap them. But what I do want to set up is this. No, actually, you know what? The connections are backwards. Mm -hmm. They are. They are definitely backwards. So I'm going to have to move. Yeah. I'm. I have to move the the thing and in fact I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to do this take it from the middle here 
bring it out. To yeah, I'm going to have to bring it out another block. And then run that round. So I will put it over here. You can all thank me, guys, for complicating the situation. Absolutely. <laughs> <clears throat> there you go. So, okay. We want power to come in from Fence. the engines. Fence. There you go. It's set up properly now. It is? Did yep. you wrench it? Yep, I wrenched them. I wanted to wrench it, man. Oh, sorry. Help. There you go. Don't it. <laughs> put it back. Uh, uh, wrench it. Wrench it. Come on. All right, freaking wrench it. I'll use the Omni wrench. There, Ooh. it's been wrenched. Oh. Okay, but the most important part of this system is the lever right here. Oh. Yeah. Because that gives it power to charge, doesn't it? No. What you can do is you can go into the interface here, and tell it to react to redstone, ignore redstone, or. You've got two settings. You've got, or three settings. You've got disabled, low, and high. When it's in disabled or low, mm -hmm. you don't need a switch whatsoever. But if you set it into high, you flip the switch, and now it will transmit energy. Ah. Oh. Um, the low kind of works the opposite. So if you had it in low and you had the switch on, it wouldn't. It would turn the block off. It would turn the cell off. Okay. So basically, you need the block to transmit energy to power the magma crucibles. Right. But it's okay, also good. storing the energy. Yeah. I use it as a storage and a control switch. Oh, cool. So I can store the energy as well as control whether I want to have it on or off. So wait. So it's a pretty nice setup. I can do the same thing with the engines. I could put a uh, I could put a switch on each one of these engines. Yep. And I could control the engines with a switch. So also while we were away, I filled up this barrel with uh, netherrack, and we're going to turn netherrack into lava. Nice. So let's turn yeah. this thing on first. We're going to start pumping netherrack out of the barrel. I love the way the things go round and round. Woo! And then it hits the gold pipe and it speeds up. Or it should. And okay. it looks like it's being a little glitchy right now. Yeah, that's gone into the middle one. Yeah. Uh, now It'll eventually it's spread itself out into all three of them. Yeah. Just being peaky at the moment. Now, in the past, what I've done with these uh, magma crucibles is I've set up a Stirling engine to kind of jumpstart them, mm -hmm. but I have brought with me today a better method. I have buckets of lava. Oh, cool. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bucket of lava into the magmatic engine, and it should start running. And it's going to start filling up, possibly filling up. Oh, the energy is going straight into the magma crucible. Ah, it's dark. Yeah, it would do, wouldn't it? It'll take the most power. Well, the power that's being transmitted is being immediately removed, so none of it's being stored at this point. But I figure once all four engines are running, yeah, it should start storing. It should start storing it. Let's see. At the moment, zero. Interesting. This could take... It's I mean, it usually takes a while to get up and running. Ah, here we go. It's it's the... Yeah. Um, yeah. Albanac, look at the magma crucible. If you look on the left-hand side, there's a little blue bar. Yeah. When that blue bar reaches 2,000, it will turn one of the blocks of netherrack into lava. Or it will start turning one of the blocks of netherrack into yeah. lava. I think, it's two, I think it's either 2,000 or 5,000. It's one of those two. <laughs> I, um, I'm not too sure. I think 
It's something like sixteen thousand that needs to be before it starts to smelt. No, it's it, okay. It's got to be five thousand. But if this was it, the magma crucible, also turns um, cobblestone into lava. That takes. Yeah. That's the one that takes sixteen thousand. Oh, okay, exactly. Correct. But the nether rack is much easier to process. Excuse me, master, for questioning your. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hoping that this these three buckets of lava don't run out before we actually start making more. <laughs> they shouldn't really, should they? I mean, never know. <laughs> I mean, this um, the magmatic engines are also storing energy from the looks of it. Oh yeah. It's like it's stored lava already, seven hundred and twenty MB. Um, I'm not sure what the MB stands for. I looked it up once, but it's. it's I'm guessing it's like micro buckets or something like that. Yeah. A thousand, a thousand MB is one bucket. Ah. Uh. Is it stored? No, it's actually um, consuming it. Yes. It stored the lava inside the engine. But it, once, okay. the lo once the magmatic engine starts producing lava, it will store lava within its... within its whatever well, it's got. <laughs> it's got something. It's got a tank. This magma, magma crucible is at seven, nearly uh, 8,000, and it's not smelt. Now it's starting to smelt. So it's 8,000 that needs to get to to smelt the netherrack. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was a lot lower than that. No. Well, this one's the same, yeah. Cool. Time to do a bit of munching. <laughs> Munch away. Now, I want to be here on this side when the lava comes through. And you should see it start to fill the tank, fill the pipes. Once it... Mm. Uh, It, uh, you know, when it comes out, does it um, split evenly down this side and over to the tank, or do, mm, is it as evenly as the computer can split it? Okay. But eventually, it's going to get to a point where these tank, these pipes are just fill, full, just completely full. That magmatic engine up there is dead. I only had three buckets. Oh. See, there it goes. Yeah, cool. And it's splitting some off onto that side. And now the top engine is starting to run. Yay! But it's only got 100, 200 units of lava. Done. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be dead in a second. Unless another one of these finishes. Which. Nope. Haven't even started yet. They get there. So they do need seven or 8,000 or something? Wow. Yeah, and so this ends part one of how Albanac helped me off. build a lava producing machine to fill my tanks. To find out what happens next, check out part two. Thank you very much. See you later.